Hey everyone, and welcome back to another round of They Said What with Mamas Uncut, where we talk about the hottest celebrity stories we have covered on our website. Again, we got Lisa and Mindy. You guys ready to cover some celeb gossip? Let's do it. Always. Okay. Recently, it was revealed that Simone Biles, after doing one rotation in the team final competition, she opted to bow out due to not being in the right headspace to throw the level of tricks that she is throwing. Um, and she opted to let the three teammates behind her kind of lead the way in which USA won silver. A lot of people are taking issue because the last three Olympics, USA has won gold in the women's gymnastics team final. Um, what do we think about her decision to step away? And for me, I'm not even sure if it's a question. I think it is showing people that we need to prioritize mental health, but there has been a lot of debate about that. So what are your guys' thoughts on this whole situation? I'm not firmly one way or the other. I can, I often find myself in the middle on things like this, but I, I'm a huge fan of the Olympics and I was very young when Carrie Strug landed that ball on one foot and I have a little bit of mixed feelings about it but I also I wonder I would love an interview with her right now actually I would love an interview to see what she thinks like with the perspective of being an adult I'm not sure how involved she was in the decision or if the Caroli guy like get out there or you're dead I don't know what he said to her um but I, I can, so I can see the part of Olympians are known to push through and be very resilient and the overcoming those obstacles is all part of like the Olympic spirit. So that's why I think people are upset. Um, but at the same time, I can totally understand she has a lot of pressure on her. Um, and I don't think I looking back at the goat uniform that she had now that was almost like, I don't know if she was adding more pressure on herself or what, it just feels like she had pressure from a lot of people to um, perform to this high, amazingly high level, which she can do, we all know that. She is amazing and she's a, a, just she, a look, she, she, she is the GOAT. She is, and she, that's the thing though, I think that that just played around in her mind too much. And I don't know what other pressures or what other personal things she has going on, but I could totally tell that first night of competition, I knew something was off with her. I knew something was off. And so I'm not, I wasn't too, totally surprised about it but I can't understand people feeling a little bit disappointed just because of the spirit of the Olympics, I think is like something that's maybe upsetting people. Cause I think that there's a lot of Olympians who have overcome a lot, but they probably don't have the, I don't know if they have the international pressure that Simone Biles had though, or has still. But look, it is hard mm -hmm. to have to show up to work every day and know you've got to carry everyone on your back yep. because, and, and her saying, and, and it's okay to say today, I can't carry you. You've got to carry me. And it happened at a terribly inopportune time, yeah. horribly so, mm -hmm. but like it happens, right? Like you can't carry the load every single day. Everyone's entitled to have bad days. Yeah. And if she's, you know, her stuff is crazy hard way harder than anybody else's and her capacity to get hurt if her head's not in the game yeah. is almost catastrophic right and so like when you when you put it in that perspective her owning it and saying hey you've got to carry the load today is um is brave and honest and rewarding but i'm not gonna lie there's a piece of me that's like Dude, it's the Olympics. Couldn't yeah, you? That's like, it. That's exactly it. Couldn't right? you know, melt it down like two days later? <laughs> I know. I know. There's some, there's some days in carrying the load, and this is how I view the world in general, right? Like, you just have to get through whatever you need to get through, and when it's done, you can have the biggest crash meltdown <laughs> mess on the planet, and you can be in a pity party for two weeks and like cry every day. Like, fine. But until, until it's, until it, until the job is done, whatever that is, you've got to just kind of, you've got to dig deep and find it. Right. So there's a piece of me that's kind of like that, but the flip side is, Hey, if she can't do that, she can't do it. And yeah. it's not she worth it. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's got she's got nothing to prove to anybody from sure. an athletic perspective. Mm -hmm. She is the goat. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll make this statement. I don't think it is weak in any regard to focus on your weaknesses. I think it is one of the strongest things that you can do is to find fault in yourself and then go work on that. For the people who are disappointed, I'm extremely disappointed. I love watching Simone Biles. There's nothing yeah. more that I would have enjoyed seeing than to see her take home all of the golds that she did in 2016. Yeah. But I think the way in which people are showing their disappointing, their disappointment is super unfair. Yeah. There are people going on the radio, calling her a sociopath, doing all of these things. What? There is, there's no, she is not a sociopath. What she did for herself is not sociopathic in no. any regard. I would argue it wasn't necessarily just for herself. She could have cost them yep. that silver. Yeah. Right. If, if, if you're not, if your head is not in the game, you could become a liability rather than an asset. Absolutely. Um, also to point out, you know, people are saying like, oh, you had a bad run you quit because of that, yada, yada. No, I think it, she had a bad run and she knew from that point on, nothing was going to get better during that competition. So what is the best thing I can do for my team? So she did actually say that was bad. That's not what I'm used to doing. What can I do as an athlete, as a teammate to make sure my team at least medals in some regard? That's what she did. Um, and so I think the disappointment and I got to interview Simone personally face to face, uh, after she won in Rio, she was competing on dancing with the stars at the time. She is the most bubbly person I have ever met in my entire life. And I've met a lot of athletes who don't put out face to face to people what they put out in the TV. They're very different personalities. But when you see Simone giggling on TV, she's doing that in person as well. And to see someone with so much power, with so much talent, with so much promise break down on the national stage, you know, something is wrong. And yeah. I, you need to take that to heart and be like, oh, sh the greatest in the world doesn't step away from being the greatest in the world if something isn't seriously wrong. Yeah. I'm curious to see what time will tell. And if she opens up more about it and what she's struggling with right now, she doesn't have to by any means, yeah. but it might, maybe it will probably, man, no, it won't shut anybody up. People love running their mouths. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, but she also has a chance to compete again once more, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. There's a single apparatus finals. She's qualified for all of them. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. all right. Well, that's all we got for you guys. We'll see you next week.